with millions of tourists visiting the likes of the Great Sphinx, Disney World, and the Tower of London every year. You may think it's impossible that secrets could still be found within these constantly scrutinized landmarks, but you'd be wrong. Because inside some of the world's most famous locations, there lies a network of hidden tunnels, a chamber with a horrific past, and a nice little pub somewhere you'd never expect. So let's find out where in our list of seven secret places hidden in famous locations. In at number 7, The Great Sphinx. We all know the Egyptian pyramids are packed with secret rooms, great treasures, and angry mummies who want to chew your face off. But what many don't realize is that the Great Sphinx of Giza is also hiding a few secrets of its own. Since the 1970s, we've discovered a tunnel system and several secret chambers both inside and beneath the Great Sphinx. But due to our fear of damaging this valuable monument, we've yet to probe further inside it. Which I'm sure Mr. Sphinx is grateful for. It is speculated that within these subterranean chambers, we might find the legendary Egyptian Hall of Records, which is said to house the knowledge of the ancient Egyptians, and also the key to understanding humanity itself. At number 5, the Eiffel Tower. There are actually two secret places inside the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, but they both had very different purposes. At the top of the tower, designer Gustave Eiffel placed a snazzy little apartment and laboratory for himself, as you would if you were given free reign to build whatever the heck you wanted. Here, Eiffel would often entertain members of the scientific community including famous idea thief Thomas Edison, who probably claimed he designed the Eiffel Tower and that the name was just a coincidence. This apartment is open for public viewing today, but it's a little harder to gain entrance to the Eiffel Tower's second set of secret rooms, which are located beneath the tower, and were once used by the Gestapo for torturing members of the French Resistance. I bet they don't print that on the brochures. At four... The Underground White House As you might expect, the future summer house of President-elect Donald Trump has a fair few secret rooms which are accessible only by high command and the president himself. But in 2010, a mysterious construction project began outside the White House's West Wing. And while many officials in federal government tried to find out what was going on, even they were left completely in the dark. Until Obama fessed up, like a good guy. Thanks, Barry. 
He revealed that the project's aim was to construct a new underground command center to replace the old one situated beneath the White House's east wing. This original command post was where George W. Bush met with the National Security Council in the aftermath of 9-11, photographs of which were published for the very first time following this historic event. And the way the president gets there is pretty neat. At present, there's a trapdoor under the Oval Office desk which leads to the Secret Service Horsepower Command Post. But in order to modify this and connect it to the new West Wing facility, the president would have to relocate for a short while. Which can now finally happen, since the Donald has said he doesn't fancy spending much time in the White House. 3. Mount Rushmore Sadly, Mount Rushmore doesn't contain the secret headquarters of Team America like the movie told us. But it is home to a large titanium vault full of historical documents called the Hall of Records. This room was meant to be a feature of the original monument, but due to the limitations of the time and the death of designer Gutzon Borglum, it remained unfinished until the 1990s. Today, the sealed chamber room contains the likes of the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and a document which explains why the heck four white guys are carved into the side of a mountain, in case future civilizations are a little confused. But what I find most intriguing about this hidden chamber is where it's located, as Gutzum Borglum chose to install this large hunk of titanium behind the face of Abraham Lincoln, close to where his frontal lobe should be. You know... That place John Wilkes Booth also put a giant hunk of metal. In a two, Lady Liberty's Secrets Ever since German agents caused an explosion in the Statue of Liberty's torch room back in 1916, the public has been prohibited from taking a stroll past Lady Liberty's pits to the area atop her outstretched arm. But this isn't the only part of Miss Liberty's body which is off-limits because she has rights, you know. You can't just go feeling her up whenever you want. Oh, and also there's a secret room beneath her feet. That's the important part. A few years ago, construction workers who were building a new staircase discovered this secret room deep within the statue's concrete base. This is interesting because the concrete foundations of Lady Liberty's 450,000 pound butt are actually older than she is having been built back in 1807 as a defensive fort called Fort Wood. The entire structure was later filled with concrete when America realized it needed somewhere to store this ostentatious gift from the French. And while we think the secret room may have been used to store gunpowder, it makes you wonder what other hidden chambers are lurking in the concrete beneath this giant copper broad. And at number one, the Grand Central Open. Ever heard of the tennis tournament that takes place beneath Grand Central Station? Probably not, because I just made it up. But you could stage one there if you wanted, due to the fact that there is a secret tennis court under the station owned by none other than Donald Trump. The full-sized clay court is part of the Vanderbilt Tennis Club, which is open to the public, if you can afford their 200-an-hour fees, of course, and has played host to the likes of John McEnroe and the Williams sisters, since its construction in the 1960s by a Hungarian immigrant. <laughs> I bet that ticks old Donald right off. Can't we build an underground wall to keep these tennis-loving Hungarian mole people out? Or something? Sheesh. And a Strange Mysteries bonus entry. Disney's Secret Island. This is one entry we missed off our recent video on the secrets of Disney that we really should have included. Did you know that there is an abandoned island within the Disney World complex that the mouse mafioso really doesn't want you to know about? Originally opened as Treasure Island and later known as Discovery Island, this place opened in 1974 in Bay Lake, Florida and was originally supposed to be a pirate-themed haven where the public could interact with exotic wildlife. However, a 1989 investigation discovered that Disney staff had been abusing the animals, with incidents of hawks being shot with rifles and vultures found beaten to death, kind of tainting the park's image as the happiest place on Earth. 
Disney paid $90,000 to sweep both the case and those bird corpses under the rug. And the island was permanently closed in 1999. So that's our list. But if you're looking for more interesting tales, why not check out our recent video on the five creepiest secret rooms ever discovered? Michael Jackson's dirty old man closet is on there. And it's super gross.